Glenn Project is a global think tank in the sense that its issues are global. We're as interested in organized crime as we are in gender justice or in energy as we are in water. So it's global in that sense. It's global institutionally in the sense that we're as interested in being involved with the business community as we are with the academic community. And it's global geographically because we have 63 nodes around the world. Uh, and the, the purpose of a node, and, and it, one chair here is Philippe uh, from Belgium, the purpose of a node is, is that global-local interface. How do you get thinking out of one country shared with the other country? So the, the, the node is a group of individuals and institutions that sort of help pick who should play in different studies. Uh, we, we, we get confused with Jeffrey Sachs, uh, for better or worse, and um, because the Millennium Project started out of the United Nations University. Uh, we did a three-year feasibility study. And we started officially in 86. Uh, Excuse me for interrupting. Yeah, yeah. That means you started out of UNU. That means when Hector Gugolina de Souza was the That's right. was the rector of UNU Correct. University. He's the president Correct. of the academy now. I didn't realize yeah, yeah. that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he helped pull some of the arrows out of my back from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> He even took a couple of So then when Jeffrey Sachs started his UN Millennium Project, it was after, of course, the year 2000, to write papers on how to address the goals. We were doing challenges, so we got confused with that. And the challenge is a long-term thing. It's not a goal. So we can use the goals, obviously, in the challenges. Um, we've done 55 uh, futures research studies. Uh, and we produced 19 State of the Future reports and the largest, as far as we know, collection of internationally peer-reviewed methods to explore the future, 37. So when someone says, well, we do scenarios, I say, fine, that's one, 37 methods. Mm -hmm. um, and um, um, I was pleased to be invited <laughs> to be a fellow uh, some years ago. And so this is actually the first time I've actually showed up. So thank you <laughs> for the invitation. And I look forward to continuing collaboration uh, as we do studies. There's no reason we can't get an invitation out to the academy to say, do you want to participate or not? It's free choice. It's all voluntary free stuff. Um, I guess that's all I have to say at the moment. Um, we have websites, two websites, I should say. One Millennium Hyphen Project, which is a normal bureaucratic. Mm -hmm. This is how tall we are, how wide we are, what we weigh. The other one is less well known, it's called GFIS, it's the Global Futures Intelligence System. Mm -hmm. This is a collective intelligence system on the future of the world, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, it's evolving step by step, uh, and I assume at some point Google will step in and take over everything and run, run with it, which is okay. <laughs> We're supposed to be sort of creating new stuff. Um, and um, I would recommend for those of the universities, get their universities, library can subscribe, then the whole university can and get access to it. We have all those studies in there, we have the methods in there, we have 15 global challenges in there, we've got the news. It's a large, complex system. Mm 